Today, I will show you how to optimize your footage for a slow computer. But first, some coffee. Hello guys, my name is Isaac and in this tutorial I will show you how you can optimize your footage for a slow computer. First off, you will need some footage. So here I got a clip from my DJI Mavic Pro shot in 4K. Let's open up Premiere. So here we have the footage. Just drag it, create a new sequence. As you can see it's 4K and it's 25p. First let's add some music. play it back in full quality. No problem so far. But, uh, let's say we change it to play in reverse and we go into color and add a curve and change the highlights, open up the shadows, blah 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 doesn't matter for this tutorial and now when we play back super laggy let's add a scale animation go from 100% to 115% so well Super laggy. Now let's open up Adobe Media Encoder and convert this raw footage from the Mavic Pro into MFX files. So here is the Media Encoder and uh, the first thing you we do is to drag in your footage to the Q tab over here. So go to Finder and find your footage and drag it in to Adobe Media Encoder. Then go to the preset browser and find broadcast. Under broadcast you have two different options here DNX HD, DNX HR MXF. HD obviously is high definition up to 1080p and HR is 4K. So open the tab and find the tab that matches your footage. So this was shot in UHD 25p. And if you open up the bracket, you have a few options. If you hover your mouse over each setting here, you can see that we have 8-bit and SQ. Go up, you have 444, 10-bit, 8-bit, LB, HQX, 10-bit, and HQ 8-bit. So usually the lowest quality is at the bottom of the list. And the Mavic Pro only shoots in 4K 8-bit like 50 megabytes per second so it's very low. So the lowest settings is more than enough. So drag it on top of your clip and then choose where you want to output the file to. When you have multiple clips here, make sure to add these clips into a second folder. That will make your life so much easier. When you are done, just press play. After a few minutes, depending on how fast your computer is, Adobe Media Encoder has encoded your footage into a better performing codec. Keep in mind that the MXF files takes up much more space than the original files, so that's a drawback, but I think it's worth it. Now it's done and you can close Adobe Media Coder by Command Q on a Mac, and then we have two files, the MXF file and the MXF.xmp. And if you press Get Info on the original file, you can see that it is 142.6 megabytes, and the new file is 1.09 gigabytes. So almost 
10 times the size. Now go back to Premiere and open up the MXF file into your project folder and drag the new MXF file into your timeline. I will just get rid of these audio tracks because there is no audio. Then I will copy the music so we have the exact same on both the clips. Then when I will copy the Lumetri colors like that. And I will right click, go to speed and duration and press reverse speed. And then I will add the scale from 100% to 115%. And now look how smooth this plays back. It's quite amazing when you compare it to the original file. If we want to take this one step further, we can add some uh, denoise. And if you know anything about denoising, you know it's very heavy on the computer. And I'm using Red Giant's Denoiser 3 here. So uh, let's put it here, standard settings. But if you play it in like one fourth of the sec uh, of the quality, the original footage still lags a lot. But the MXF file, no problem at all. So play your footage in one fourth of the quality to get even Denoiser 3 to work properly. So that's it for this quick tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you liked it, comment if you want to comment something and don't forget to subscribe. I see you in the next one.